Um, all right, welcome to Cream Crew. I'm Tom from Flash Kids. I'm Don from Flash Kids. Oh, now we're doing that. Well, you, I mean, you already did it. Don's. I was gonna do. I was gonna okay. do. This is Don from Flash Kids. And who's that, Tom? That's. Uh, we're doing this again, are we? <laughs> Hunter from Flash Kids. How you doing, buddy? Never gets old, does it, guys? This this intro <laughs> sequence. Two two, ep- <laughs> <laughs> two episodes. It's already old. Uh, so we got a few things going on. Um, let's start with your iPhone, Tom. Yes, let's. Tom got so the why, uh, fancy new Mercedes Benz of uh, iPhones. Oh yeah, that's so, right. So that you could get the Apple Wallet. What is the Apple Wallet? So it's a super cool thing, right? Where the wallet magnetizes to the back of the iPhone. <clears throat> the what, the what wallet the magnetizes wallet to the back. Like of the, so it's like a legitimate, like third, it's like it's an accessory to the iPhone. Yeah. Wow. Be cool Maybe if the one day you boys with... will earn enough money to fucking join me. Be cool if the wallet came with like a fucking like a headshot of Steve Jobs like in the wallet, kind of like a like a family <laughs> photo. And it's just like Steve Jobs that he's he's dead, but he still is in alive in our hearts. Do they still push push Steve Jobs at all at Apple, or are they just kind of done with him? Because it seems like as soon as he died, they just kind of like did everything that he uh, didn't want to do. Well, the uh, I th- it's funny. Like you, there's all those Steve Jobs like autobiographies and shit. Mm. And it's funny. He's like he's you know he's got the like fucking mm. lame like black and white photo where he looks all su- suave and mm, I'm a genius. But Tim Cook, who is now the CEO of Apple, like I saw a book and it was like the same shit, and it said Tim Cook, the genius who took Apple to the next level. And I so reckon he got that written for himself because he was like, I could, I could be a genius too. This yeah, isn't just Tim, about Steve. Tim Cook, the guy who made red iPhones. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, wait, woohoo. All of our iPhones are now the colors of Tic Tacs. Every kind of flavor of Tic Tac, that's the color of iPhone you can choose. Have fun, accessorize. We're going to yeah. shell out every Apple product imaginable. Tim Cook. Hey, look, it's, it's Project Red, Product Red Hunter. You don't understand. It's for AIDS. They really All the haven't money done, goes uh, to AIDS. They haven't really done anything innovative since Steve's been dead, right? Okay, wrong. What have they, what have they done? <laughs> I, this is so... What you don't understand is, like, I used to be the biggest Apple-hating mm-hmm. guy ever, and then I bought a bunch of Apple shit because I was tired of my Windows things breaking just yeah, to try yeah. it out. Right. And it was... I'm a changed man. How mm. cool would that be if we could get 16-year-old Tom in here to debate And, and argue with him. Yeah. I'd love it, yeah. yeah. Here's what he'd say. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I mean, they just came out with the M1 Max, which is like a whole new silicon architecture. It's ARM. Uh, I know other people have done it, but Apple basically are getting super low wattage with super high performance. Um, so they're like, yeah, but that doesn't sound anything like, with doesn't really sound anything innovative that Tim Cook has done. That sounds like more of like an evolutionary thing that would happen with any company, right? Like, I mean, ev- like, 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 like every idea that they've done since Steve's death has just been an upgrade of things that they already have. Am I is like, is that wrong? Like, better iPhones, better MacBooks, like, what. Where you know, like I feel like the, like they just kind of keep improving. Which I mean, not that you need to do anything else. I'm just saying that my boy Steve, he uh, he really pushed those like you know besheveled workers to death to really come up with the next best thing. Uh, I mean, I get what you're saying, but like, at what point does a an upgrade to a system become innovative versus just like a Incremental improvement. I mean, the the Apple Watch is new, isn't it? To be fair. Yeah, no, but it's I mean, just it's an eye touch. Watch. <laughs> it's an eye touch. It's an yeah, eye it's touch an for eye your touch. wrist. It gives you what wrist the fuck cancer. Is an eye touch. An eye touch. Yeah, that was like the before the iPhone. It was the eye touch. It was like the. It's like a MP. You're like, even it, more it, of a fanboy than I am. It was. Uh, I mean, it was the largest piece of technology. What am I supposed to do? Fucking. Were you under a rock? I don't know. What I'm supposed to an tell you. Eye touch. Have you was heard a, of this? It was an. It was an iPod, You're but it was the iTouch. It had the apps. No, it was real. This is you guys again with the <laughs> buckle situation. <laughs> it's not my fault that you guys have heard of fucking <laughs> you buckle or the iTouch. You some Chinese knockoff store. They're like, yeah, yeah, we got iTouch. You want iTouch? You're like, oh no, just I'll very give you a one, goddamn right? link. Yeah, it was the first thing whenever you start having Angry Bird and shit on your iTouch before, and then it was the whole big deal. Uh, fucking Missouri before, you know. Yeah, I'm sorry that you guys are fucking playing, like, like, playing I, Warhammer and jacking I each other phone? off, but you can't fucking have the goddamn and eye touch around here. Phone? Excuse do you mean the Do you mean the iPod with Touch? The, uh, with oh my the god. iPod Touch. iPod Touch. Could you fuck yourself? Could you fuck yourself anymore? <laughs> 
<laughs> God, I t- it's the it literally. If anybody said that, but yeah, I remember okay, that. boomer, I remember that. fucking I, I calm down. Good God lord, now, yeah, I'm don't the you boomer. Have some war bonds to cash. I don't. I never grew up with a Midwest with a buckle and an eye touch. What are you, a fucking loser? <laughs> yeah, yeah, buckle. <laughs> buckle makes you not a boomer. <laughs> it does. <laughs> that's your fucking. That's it your doesn't. flag. That's the flag you're planting. All right. It was, right, let's, it let's, was an let's essential on store back in the day. They still exist. We had proof in the comments. You guys are going to look like fucking idiots when this goes out, and they're going to be like, wow, and what, like, oh, yeah, the eye touch. what privileged assholes fucking in their ivory towers playing Warhammer and skipping immediately to the iPhone without having to endure the beautiful the beautiful nature of the eye touch but while you had to play games during school. Not everybody had access Bro, to I computers, didn't have an, Tom. I didn't have an eye touch. I had a, one of those fucking shit Chinese MP3 players that, like, plugs straight into your computer like a USB stick and broke every three days. I had a, uh, my mom and Murr, when uh, the iPods were- True poverty. When, when the iPods <laughs> were first, like, the, the, the iPod bricks were first popular, I remember I asked <clears> for one of those for Christmas, but they were so expensive, my mom bought me a Rhapsody because the guy at Walmart told her that it was the same thing. And I was like, you dumb bitch, it's not the same thing. It's you were a, literally a, Cartman in that episode of South Park. Pretty much. he wants an iPad. <laughs> Pr- pretty much, I was like, Why I do want... Why you want to die me before was, you fuck me? All of my friends had all of the Lord of the Rings movies on like the 200 gigabyte fucking brick iPods. And I was like, <laughs> I want to watch Lord of the Rings during school. And I can't do that with this like Mom? fucking 2 gigabyte Rhapsody MP3 player that only has stock... Uh, all American reject songs on it because the the the, the inter- I didn't have internet I couldn't get to the interface <laughs> to put new songs on it, Mom. The iPod was a thing. I, I had friends. I had gateways. How are you gonna get you Lord bitch. of the Rings on your on your iPod Touch? Because I was gonna get the uh, I was gonna my friends already had it, so I could go and I could be like, Hey, can you put it on there? But the Rap City, that you can't fucking do it. I've never even heard of this Rap City. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It was uh, it was another MP3 player that was competing with iPod at the time. I'm pretty sure it was less known than Zune, which that does. Age I me. had a Zune. If you know, if you know was, what a Zune is, I was 100 bought in too. I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, Zune, fuck the Apple, fuck uh, the iPods and all that stuff. And they were I terrible. Thought, I thought, my friend had yeah. my friend I, had one. I, I no, don't, 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 don't even try to act like the Zune videos. was good because it was not. It was a shitty <laughs> fucking Microsoft piece of shit that was trying to compete with the iPod, which the iPod was so simple, but the Zune was like, are, am I am I hacking into the mainframe by trying to listen to fucking Power Man 5000? I'm a child. I don't know what I'm doing with this piece of shit Alienware looking MP3 player. And don't even try to act like it was good, Don, because it wasn't. You know it wasn't. Well, I had no frame of reference because I had never held an no iPod. No frame before. of reference. You were, it's you could look no, at it. You could hold it and be like, this I, is terrible. I had the I had the raps I had the little rhapsody thing you were talking about with like ten megabytes <laughs> storage. Shit. Yeah. I had yeah. like six songs that I would just listen to endlessly. Yeah. And then I got the Zoom. Yeah, and you could you I don't know, like put some Robot chicken clips on there, you know? Like the same four <laughs> robot chicken clips. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You nice pull them up at school and your friends you're think like, you're cool because nice. you got robot chicken Star I had, Wars. I had one episode of Family Guy on my iTouch back in the day because I, I went to my, on Christmas Day at my aunt's house, she had internet and I was able to go on there because I got a iPod gift card and I was able to put um, songs and one episode of Family Guy and throughout the whole like two years of school I would just be in class and I'd watch the same Family Guy episode <laughs> over and over again just on my eye touch. <clears throat> it's because it was work to put anything else on there you know. Tom looks dead inside. I hope that you can cut but after during my last deal I hope that you can cut to when Tom was looking at probably directly at the camera and he looked like he was dying inside. I was able to go on there because I got a iPod gift card and I was able to put um Songs and one episode of Family Guy. This is going to be the beauty of uh, this video podcast: is you get to see how shell of human beings we all are. Of like, we're just aliens in basically human suits sitting in rooms talking about random things. <clears throat> I don't, I don't always have anything to add, and you know, you guys get a good flow going. I don't interrupt it. Did you miss? Did you miss that whole wave? When did you get a, a MP, like an MP4 player? I. Not until I was like uh, 17, 18. Uh, I couldn't, like, yeah, I couldn't. Uh, I think that was probably those. around this. I had um, like a nice, uh, I wouldn't call it nice. I had like a phone that could play videos. And yeah. I don't know about you boys, but like people, you'd have to hold them together because it was like infrared transfer. And that's how you would like exchange <laughs> oh, porn clips right, with your mates. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Go check Man, this one out, dude. It's pretty cool. <laughs> 
I remember, man, it was fucked. Like there was um, it wasn't even really until college. You'd yeah, I, I, was in I, I think school, I, man. I, I don't think I got an iPhone. I remember like. It, it wasn't like a, an iPhone, it was just like a, no, no, it was like a Nokia something. Yeah, I, I had a shitty, I, what I was going to say is I had a shitty Android phone um, up until <sighs> college, and then I switched to Apple, or an iPhone, and I never went back. But I remember... When did you get... When, oh, sorry to derail you going. I was just saying, I, just, I remember the reason I even got the, <clears throat> I, the, the Android back in the day was because I was like, it's a big screen, and then also it had a fucking kickstand to where I could... Prop it up as if that was some kind of Jack gimmick off to it. that only a fucking eighteen-year-old would think is you know handy, and I could watch bullshit. But the Android interface was so fucking terrible that as soon as I had like an iPhone, I was I, immediately immediately was like I don't know why I just didn't get this sooner. Didn't it used to be you couldn't like the first smartphones there weren't really online video on them. Or at least porn. It was it wasn't online. That's the thing. It was like local. Yeah, mm. I remember in freshman year for some reason, like I had like the Evo, which was like the first like legit smartphone. And yeah, I, I think I that's remember, what I had. The I Android, remember taking right? pictures yeah. of my laptop screen porn <laughs> on my phone so I could take my phone. In what the kind of fucking <laughs> hobbled ghetto bullshit is that? Well, that's what I mean. There's no there's no privacy at all. You have a roommate and stuff and. You yeah, just you, you never did like the infrared transfer with your mates like I never had one Man there was this one this yeah. fucking this guy fucks these chicks too good for him at once and he like filmed it not good for him and then he like infraredded it to everyone around the school it was kind of messed <clears> up <throat> damn Blackened, nice. <gasps> Blackened is the end. Winter ritual sand <clears throat> turning icy <throat> into a your tea. You're singing that My all wrong is though. A, yeah. Oh, go on, sorry. Obscurity, yeah! Yeah, it's gotta be Black and Dizzy, yeah! <laughs> you gotta do that. And then, you, and you gotta do the Jason Newstead backing vocals, like, Fire! Too big and whipping dance of the day! Black and Dizzy, yeah! That's gotta be the deal. Kill it all with Black and! Black and! Yeah. <laughs> Dean, I, do you know what? Da, 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 da. That I wanna, I wanted to. So good. I wanted to di I wanted to divert course. I don't think the Apple conversation is getting us anywhere. Apple's a short. <laughs> Come here, man. Yeah, you got. Uh, now I'm gonna. I gotta listen to the the Seattle '89 live show today. That is the greatest Metallica like thing ever. Greatest hands down ever. Greatest live <clears throat> performance of all time is what I always tell people. During, uh, I think it's Creeping Death, like Lars turns the camera. He tells the camera guy to like look at the audience. No, He's it's like, uh, it's uh, for whom the bells toll. Oh, is it? And yeah, he's he like, and there's like and a the sea of people like, just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Love it. Yeah. Hunter, big congrats. Big congrats for Monster Lab. Monster Lab came out. We're going to talk all about Monster Lab. You're really excited about Monster Lab. I dress for the occasion. Here you yeah. go. Monster Lab merch. Tell you. us, buddy. How's it feel? You're cute little monster. Hum lab humbling. Shirt. I feel humbled. This is the Kickstarter limited edition. I'm a real fan. Big I'm fan. A, I'm a real fan. <laughs> <laughs> Where's yours, Don? Why did you betray our good friend? I. I didn't give in to it. Don't know what to tell you. Maybe next time. <laughs> no, I, I respect. That's, I respect that. I tell you what, there are some like uh, TikTok e boy Korean style hats on his store right now that I think you'd like. Monster Lab hats, limited edition. <clears throat> They're like pink, and it's got a little like cats on it. What does that mean, TikTok Korean e boy? Like, like, uh, like, like a Gen Z type like thing that hat. you're wearing. You yeah, have very like you have very Gen Z fashion. Type deal. This is a hat. <laughs> this is a baseball. I can pull it this, down. No, <laughs> this it's a, a hat. It, it, they're called dad hats. It's a little now. more familiar to you, Hunter. Yeah. Oh, uh, you really pulled that down. It's a hat. You're like, oh, I'm not an e-boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a man. Korean. Oh, now He's I get it. He's not American. Man. He's not a Korean. He's I'm not. Hey, come on. Hey, hey. Come on now. It's just a hat now, here. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, you'd like it. There's some good hats on there. I was even I thinking was, about getting you one as a gift. I also got a, go I got a coffee Maybe mug, and I got huh? a limited Maybe edition. I got a limited edition posters up right now too that are pretty sexy, pretty hot on good paper. It's good stuff. I saw it all. Nothing quite swayed me. I thought about the pin. You're gonna I like have to the. Step I, your I, game I, up. I honestly like the. Uh, I like the shirt. I thought it was good. I like the shirt design a lot. The shirt's fun. Yeah. Yeah. It just wasn't. It wasn't for me, but. I'm sure <laughs> a lot of people get it. I like that shirt a lot. Oh, yeah, I love this one. This is definitely nice. like up my alley. Yeah, yeah. It's like a black metal t-shirt. Kind of a, <clears> yeah, like more 
watered down black metal type deal. Yeah, no, I thought that the Monster Lab shirt was just kind of cute. I think that it'll become more apparent. I think it'll become more appealing as the series comes along. Um, let's let's so, fucking we'll let's talk about it though, because it was awesome, man. Like I would I would watch that show even if I wasn't your bud, which oh, is like the highest it. praise I can give it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was no. fucking great. I thought the flow was awesome. I thought like <laughs> the comedy was great. The animation was great. Like, yeah, I loved it. I uh, I kind of alluded to it yesterday, but I was going back and forth about whether telling you. I said I got like chills on the credits, but yeah, it has a very uplifting kind of uh, the the end music with the whole deal. It's like more. The, the, it's not about yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's more about you, man. Like, oh, wow. seeing yeah. your seeing your channel colors and using the font, the credits and stuff, and that track you got. Like, your your <laughs> who who was the guitarist that composed that was the, the track guy who did the Nick Corniglia. He did the original Monster Lab deal, and I was like, I have to have him do. Some some kind of music since he did the one, because the whole monster Lab thing started two years ago, and he was just right, a guy yeah, who's yeah. been following me for a long time. And I remember he messaged me back in like 2018, and was like, "Hey, if you ever need any music, let me know." And he's been doing stuff even still to this day for me. So um, he's he's a great guy, and yeah, no, it's it's great, it's great music and shit, and I was really happy with it. Yeah, <clears throat> I was surprised. Like I think we've talked about this a bit before, but the, as you get older, you get weirdly emotional about things that yeah. sort of like <laughs> take you past. Yeah, I like I almost like teared up when the credits came on. Oh wow, yeah, no, I I feel yeah. like definitely I, I I see that a lot with myself and just other things too. I get way more emotionally invested. I could I know for a fact that if I was thirteen and I saw the show, I'd be like, what a fucking what kind of gay bullshit is this? Just give me more of the horror memes, but. I think it's a necessary step for the channel and kind of what well, I want to do with you're my You're talking career. about it like it, it's underperformed, but it's on like 600 and something thousand views in a day. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's 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 at 700 something or whatever. Where's it on your little list of top 10 last videos? <laughs> 10. Yeah, it's doing the worst for sure. I mean, but like the worst yeah. of a fucking yeah. trailblazing channel. But I mean, the, the I 100% knew that it was going to underperform because it is a new idea. Like, that's just something you have to wrap yourself around. You know, and uh, it's been humbling because it puts you in a position of like, you may say that I'm a trailblazing channel and stuff, but people come to my channel for one thing, you know, and that's the horror parody stuff. So to introduce something new, whether people know it or not, I think is important because there's going to be a day where the horror parody stuff just doesn't ring like it used to or something, or like people maybe grow out of it or, you know, maybe not, maybe it goes on for a long time, but who knows? But I think that it's good for a channel to have multiple things. It'd be fucking boring. I would kill myself if I had to just make this the same shit over and over again. So this storyline we have is so stupid and fun. And it's been just like, even if it feels like it, it, it is tons of work too. And it's, it, it sucks because the most amount of people have worked on this. The most amount of time has gone into prepping this thing. Even making a pilot episode to let people know the laws of a universe, even if you don't know it or not, that's what an episode is, like a pilot episode, is to like let people know the do's and don'ts of this universe and like what is established so then in the next episode we can be with you know monsters longer or we can you know develop more of these things and it becomes less of a what like confusing situation um so well, that's one of the most impressive things to me is like you fucking you hit the deadline by hook or by crook like that shit came out when you said it would and obviously like knowing how projects go so much goes wrong the more ingredients you add the more people you add the more variables there are the more likely shit goes wrong the longer things take it gets extended out and the fact you managed to still do it on your first try and i know you had like a talented team of um like producers and animators and shit behind you, but like, fuck me. <laughs> That's probably the most impressive part to me about the whole thing. Oh, I mean, that. The, 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 the artists we have right now, man, it's just, I can tell you right now, every artist that's on the show is just somebody who wants to work in like independent animation. It's like a collective of artists that are just stoked to be working on this thing. And like, it's not funded by a large corporation who isn't going to appreciate their hard work. It's a team of people who are like, you know, handshaking each other and saying good job because this is something that a small team of people did. We, I really hope that's like the future of all this shit too. And like I think it the, should be because things should be made out of passion and not just fucking stand-up comedians going into studios and being like, give me five million dollars to make a season, to make five episodes of something like a fucking Bill Burr. Whether you like F is for family or not, that's what it is. Do you think Bill Burr gives a fuck about animation? No, I don't. I don't think so. 
Nick Kroll with Big Mouth and shit? No, not at all. It's just a venture that they're like, it'd be fun to do this. This is like people who, you know, like as cheesy and gay as it sounds, it's like, that's what, this is what we love. Like, I mean, we love animated series. This is what people get to perform their, uh, you know, their biggest passions in the show and be able to present it. Now we gotta swag off Bill Burr, too, I it? Fuck Bill Burr and the writers we know I on Netflix love Bill Family. Burr, but I know for Joe, a fact he does you, not Joe. give a fuck about animated series and shit. It's probably Bill just Burr, like, you fucking hack. Get a job. Alright, we all had to say it. There it is. Bill Burr, <laughs> hack. Get a job. <laughs> fuck you. No, I don't know. I, ah, I, I guess it's it. just... It, it's, it's, it's hard to look at animated series and see a... a, a title sequence of... A bajillion people working on something, as it rightfully should, because you want people to have a life while working. But I just want to say that, like, with the budget I had, which, you know, people also said, I saw so many comments of, like, this cost $100,000. Really, This is what you need $100,000 for. And I'm like, <clears throat> you have no yeah. perspective of, like, how much a living wage to get someone to work nine months on eight episodes of a series for $100,000, I'm pissing that away. I'm putting my own money into it. I'm contributing my own money into it as well. So we can have the best thing possible. $100,000, think about that. Think about, it. it's nothing compared to funding, giving people like wages that are fair, weekly wages that are fair. And How many episodes is it? Eight. Eight, so 100,000 divided by eight, anyone? Let me use my new Apple Watch. 100,000 divided by Apple eight. Watch too, of course. What is that, like 10, 12, like 15,000 or something? 12,500 is fucking pennies, pennies for 12 minutes of animation. With a team, like, of, yeah, with a team of like three to five animators, two background artists, a comp worker, somebody doing sound, somebody doing music, storyboard artist, and then... Yeah, the fact I mean, you stretch that budget I, I, and it I looks also, as good I as it does. I also want to say, I, I did not take, <clears throat> I'm not taking a penny out. That is all for the artist. I did not take a penny out of that. And I'm putting my own money into it. So that whole money, I'm not getting paid like a fucking directorial credit that like, uh, you know, studio would give you or anything. It's all going towards the artist, which it should. I'm, but I'm just, I just wanted to put that out there as well. Like I'm not I benefiting like how from we that money at all. managed to turn such a beautiful, wholesome conversation and moment into something that makes us very hard to like. <laughs> if this makes us hard to like, then fuck off. Because I mean, what the like? I have, I have, I don't know how else I'm supposed to say this. So, <clears throat> but all I can say is it's okay. I, I cannot. Fathom. All this is getting cut anyway because it's just shop talk. It's like 25 minutes. Oh uh, no, this so. has to stay. I don't think so. This is in. Is this yeah. bad? Is this bad fodder? I thought this, this was fun. This is this is this really is fun. <laughs> I'm having fun. You're not having fun. <laughs> is it all of the Monster Lab stuff, or is it just some? So we can cut oh, all of it if you want. I, I mean, I'm mostly memeing. I think he's he's worried about the Don has no sheer force. The thing about your tone of voice, Don, is that it's just froggy and low all the time, so I can't tell when it's memeing uh, and when it's just regular. Shop talk. <laughs> shop, I don't like hey shop boys. talk. We will be having. I want to. I want to go ahead and pre-promote our shop talk my series that will be happening when me and Don are in the same location. We will be having the shop talk. Fifteen minute, it, fifteen dude. minute long episodes. We'll do. We'll record for like thirty, and then it'll be. We we'll have a nice, nice pegboard. Yeah, well yeah. framed behind and us. And Don likes pegs. All the power tools. <laughs> All right, everyone. <laughs> ah, I got you. I got you good. This whiskey is so weird. good. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting fucked. It's like, I forgot, I need to look it up because there's something where they use, they use like loud frequencies of sound and they play Metallica music while this distills and that's like a part of their process. But there's- oh, what, what a gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking it's gimmick. It's awesome! You know, without it's awesome. the nutty tones of Master of Puppets, this whiskey would taste terrible. Alright, well, it's awesome. It's very... Metalocalypse. It's super Metalocalypse. Yeah. It's amazing. I, I admire it. It's funny. There's batch playlists. Let me see. Know. It's funny. Let me see. I'm looking it up now. There's a playlist for the is deals. The, is the batch that is uh, distilled to St. Anger cheaper? Oh! Huh? I can look mine up! Mine's batch 99. Shut the hell up. Let me look it up. I can look Wait, it up. you I, can tell what song was played Yeah, they it. have it on their website. Mine's batch 99. <laughs> <laughs> They have, oh, they did the cover of It's Electric, nice, Sad But True, One, All Within My Hands, Moth Into Flame, Carpe Diem Baby, Red Lightning, Dyer's Eve. DYER'S EVE! Ah, In it, you got one good, one good track out of ten. One good track? Probably tastes like one, fucking swill. It's beautiful. Dyer's Eve, the heaviest, 
The be- most yeah, the beautiful. one good track that I'm talking about. So good. Ride the Lightning isn't a good track. Really? Oh, wait, Ride the Lightning's in there. Yeah, it's number seven. Oh, Sad, okay, but true. Them, Sad But True oh, isn't yeah, a good dude. track. Do you only own Disney t-shirts? <laughs> <laughs> no, I only... Uh, I don't know. All my t-shirts are falling apart. I haven't bought, like, uh, like a, a pack of shirts since, like, college. So if I bought you, if, if I I bought you a bunch of metal shirts, them. would you wear them? Yeah. I've actually been thinking of ordering a couple. You should, man. I just haven't gotten around to it. You yeah. should order them from the record deal so you can support them. We can all dress, like... We can all have battle jackets. We dude, can all get my, like long hair. Dude, I have been working on my <laughs> battle jean jacket and it's so sick. I am so proud of my battle jean jacket. Beautiful. What's the, what's on it? Go get it. Show us show the camera. What's you the point of having cameras? Bring it in here real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, right, one second. I'll go get mine too. Oh boy. I don't have a battle jacket, dang it. Alright, here I go. Don, get a battle jacket. That'd be so funny. <laughs> Alright, here I am. Does this read? Does this read? Do you know what you should do? You should be ironic. <clears throat> yeah, I should be ironic. You should don get a battle jacket and put all like the indie bands and pop punk stuff you like on it. It'd be so funny. <laughs> blink one, blink one of you two type shit. That'd be nice. Here, let me. All right, let me, let me, uh, let me scrutinize your battle jacket. Okay, you got some. You got my head top left. You got that terrible band nails. Metallica. Nails Metallica, is so good. What the fuck are you talking King about? King Diamond. I Dude, have Behemoth. Mastodon. I have Mastodon, the Hunter album, which is Black controversial because you got a Burzum album. tag. Yes, I do. Burzum right here. Racist! <laughs> Racist, sir! B- Burzum. Everyone look up Hunter's hero, Varg Vikernes. He is a convicted okay. neo-Nazi, and Beautiful, Hunter idolizes beautiful, him. Beautiful uh, <laughs> King Diamond patch there. Behemoth. Nails. Got a Cliff Burton thing. Also, if you look on the front, look at this. Ooh. I got some more Oh, on death. Th- Good shit. Got death on the front there. I got Pantera's Far Beyond Driven. I got the Creeping Death single there. <coughs> and then I have Toxic Holocaust. But then if you look over oh, here, wow, okay, racist. on the right, there's the Misfit Skull, Misfits? but if you, but if you uh-huh. remember correctly, uh, Cliff Burton had the tattoo of the Misfit Skull on his right shoulder. So that's why Ooh, I put it there. You're such a dweeb, I love it. That's why I put there. <laughs> uh, does I that have, say meat? Does that say meat on the jacket pocket? Yeah, up here it says, I have a little, <laughs> you I have put little, your own. <laughs> I have a little meat deal, a little meat tag, like a little work <laughs> jacket, but it's a beautiful you jacket. We have, uh... We have the fucking Don't Break the Oath, we have Midnight, we have all sorts of good shit, man. Electric Wizard, we got all sorts of stuff. This is a great, this is a fantastic battle jacket. It's, uh, it really puts mine to shame. I wanted something very, like, very simple. Yeah, the, don't you just have a flag? Why would you spoil the surprise? Because <laughs> I don't have one, so I gotta, you know. Yours could have, like, t- German Shepherds on it. Yeah. Oh, update. Hey, Don whoa, finally whoa, got rid what? of his. It's a nice. He nice got rid photo of them. The, he got rid. It's uh, gone. It's uh, gone. Uh, they are gone. He put took them to the kill shelter because no one will take them, and he fucking put. That's not true. Nine Don, millimeter in their dog skulls. Don, what happened? Wait. Uh, well, yeah. Boom. I want to steal Tom's no, thunder. That's, that's terrible. Yeah. You look like <laughs> beautiful. A, you look Best like flag a, in the world. You look like a gay, like Austin Powers, like fucking. Uh, like Dude, that sounds so good. There's no way to make that sound bad. <laughs> That's a, ter- that's a definitely a terrible thing. You need to put some fucking metal patches. Just go on eBay. It's so easy. I'll get around to it. <laughs> no, you won't. All right, dog. <sighs> tell, tell me what happened to the German Shepherds. <clears throat> uh, we took them to a nice lady, and she's going to take care of them. And that's the whole story. <laughs> you By how simple that is, it makes it sound mm. like a lie. It's almost too It's almost too pure to be real. No, I was sad though, man, because we we hung on to them too long. So. You named them too. Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't have Funny made them. Always a bad idea. No, as soon, as, soon as you really, name them, it's bad. We didn't really name them. Like they, it's not like the names ever stuck. And I always felt like a jackass, like saying, "Come here, Joe." Like, <laughs> come, like come on, Joe. Joe. Don't do that. Come Joe. on, Mary. You have to yeah. admit that my dog's name is pretty good for a dog. Yeah, I like. Tug. I've never debated tugboat's a good name. Tugboat's yeah. a great name for a dog. I'll tell you what. If I ever had a, uh, if I ever had a. A, a basset or a I, I've always wanted a Saint Bernard has been my dream dog uh, th- that would be the dog that suits your look mm-hmm. I wanted a Saint Bernard and I, and I name him Chugs Chugs Tug and Chugs Tug and Chugs how great is that <laughs> nice <laughs> and then also there's and then we have Rowan who is my beautiful uh, terrible my name. beautiful dog no it's a great name I didn't like it at first, but at first I wanted his name to be Robert E. Lee, and I was almost convinced my wife to do that. Dude, that is not. Now that is a name. 
You can't. That is a name. Be... Or yes. No, we were gonna name. <laughs> we were gonna name Stonewall. That's what it was. We were gonna name. Yes, Stonewall. also. <laughs> fucking I, Stonewall Jackson. She was the like, dog. I don't know how I'm gonna <laughs> tell my friends that it's a con- Confederate general. <laughs> 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 Could have just called him Jackson to him. Oh, is that Jackson? That, that doesn't. That doesn't feel as good. As, like Stonewall is a strong name. Dude, and her was, dumb like, fucking bitch friends aren't gonna know who Stonewall Jackson and I, is. And I was like, if you say Stonewall to somebody, it's a strong name. But you see, she's right here right now. She's giving me a Coke for my drink. Did we not, Did we almost settle in Stonewall? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. You, 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 that was just like, you this fucking one. bitch! <laughs> 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 Hunter, calm down! Hunter, he's been drinking! Yeah. Oh, no, he's been drinking. It seems kind of racist. It is. Well, I mean, it is racist. <laughs> right, that's point, but, I mean, it is racist! That's the point! <laughs> it, was a, it was a good meme. It was a good meme for a little bit. But I understand. We went through, we went through with... Uh, with Rowan and I still like it. They don't like the name Rowan for. Rowan. I'm gonna forever call that dog Stonewall, and you can't change my mind. You can call him Stonewall. That's fine. If they're Mi- for- moving, moving swiftly onwards to other pet-related stories. After the harangue of a year, a year of begging me to take this fucking cat, I finally folded because I love him, mm-hmm. and I said I will take the cat. And you know what Don said? Oh, but I, I love I, the cat. <laughs> that's I like the that's cat exactly what I said. I like it now. I said, I, oh no, you're going to take him away. And now I like him. Well, what, okay, yeah, so what you Don, actually well, said I was actually, like. I actually want to know, Don, what was the, because you, you made it blatantly clear even to myself that you did not like this cat. Mm-hmm. Oh no, he's terrible. I still don't Well, like I him. don't understand then because Tom, because at least with Tom, the cat loves Tom. Like, even mm. if it's just because of the full beard, the cat loves Tom. <coughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> it, it is just because of the beard. And, you know, watch watch your tongue there. Full beard. <laughs> he, well, what it is, is it hey, is wait. a very, mo- it's your, a very mo- substantial... Mo- move your mic uh, away so you, you can g- it, a, give a full shot of the beard real quick. Well, what do you, what do you call it? A, uh, a b- fucking... F- those, those little, like, scrubber Bring brush things. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That you scrub dishes with. It's like that on the bottom of his face, but dense. It's like a very nice, like, thick well, scratch yeah, pad. Whenever it you, makes Tom's face look like a brick. It's like a brick extension Whenever you start neck. growing a beard, it always comes in as a really hard, crusty... Hey, Don's diverting the topic. Well, what, also, wait, look at this reasoning. Wait, can I hold on a second? On can, I, can we hold on a second? I have to go back to something here because I want to say, my dog has had to have uh, a new collar and he's been scratching, so he's gotten scabbed, so we've had to, like, think of ideas. Of okay, how you to strangle stop. your dog when you're mad, we get it. Yes, Fine. definitely. But when he, Good cover. But, but but basically he has scabs on his neck because he scratches too much. So now we have we've had to get him this. Look at this. It just came in today. Everybody. Dope. He has a donut. Yeah, Lord. For his, for his <laughs> neck. Look at him. Love it. He's a beautiful donut boy. <laughs> that dog is like no. That's, Stop. That's his collar. That's it. like his. Uh, so stop he, him from eating. He's been walking around. around. He's, he's been laying on like, as like a, a cone. He's a good boy. Like a cone thing. Does what? that work as like a cone thing? Yeah, it's like basically like, like, without having the whole cone, he's still able to eat. But then it just stops yeah, him from yeah. being able to. His neck is just so scab, man. We've had to. We got him trained mm. recently, and he's just with the new collar he has. He's just scr- like scratches like a motherfucker. Back to the cat. Yeah, so anyways, Tom has grown himself a scratching post on the bottom of his chin. Yes. And when he nice. sits when he sits in his chair, Torrance comes to the office and he goes over Prince to Tom. Prince Vegeta is what I've renamed him. He goes over to Tom and he jumps up on his lap and he scratches his head on Tom's chin scratching post. Sure. But the funny thing is, whenever I do a pass over the ads at the end of a production cycle, I sit at Tom's desk and do the same thing. And Torrance comes in the office and he walks up to me now at Tom's desk in his chair and starts yelling at me to jump up in my lap, which should indicate to everyone that it isn't about, oh, I'm Torrance the cat, I love Tom. It's just, I'm Torrance the cat and I know if I walk to this chair and jump up on the lap here... Isn't the important that doesn't, that Tom that, loves that, Torrance that the cat? That doesn't stop your hatred for the cat, though. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just prefacing the... Uh, I, I don't know the fi- his fickle nature that Tom is blind to. Now let's get to why I hate the cat. Right. I hate the cat because he won't shut the fuck up and oh, he doesn't I sleep think... at night. Oh, he does not sleep. He at likes night. to talk. He's vocal. Yeah, he's, he's a vocal, vocal, vocal. A little vocal. We have little chats. <laughs> little vocal, like, hey, buddy, hairless, day been? hairless like, buddy. I will say the cat. I, I I've never really cared for hairless cats, but that's a cute cat, man. It's a cute. Oh big, no, I like. Big, here's the thing. I really liked cat. him. 
for the first two weeks of knowing him, when I first started dating my girlfriend, I thought he was awesome. I've never liked cats before, and I thought he was awesome. This isn't about the cat's character. This is this is about you begged me to take this cat, and I finally said yes, and now you're saying that you is won't. true. I I do want people to know that to preface. We we've had or not we but I've had I've I've seen the ongoing struggle of Don being like, do you want to take the kid? Like, do you just take it? But I think that he's offered those. I think he's offered it because he knew Tom would say no. Is that correct? No. Oh. If you if I really would give you the cat in a heartbeat, it is not my decision though. It's not my cat. You said mm-hmm. on the last podcast that mm-hmm. your girlfriend hates the cat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, she's back and forth about it. Well, that's not fair because Tom is ready. Because Tom's right. <laughs> you guys also are, Don. You already have a dog, right? It is my girlfriend's dog, technically. If your if your girlfriend is is uh, wary on the cat, you might as well let it go so you guys can focus on the dog. Dude, I think you're preaching to the choir. I agree. How, absolutely. Well, I fucking hate that put cat. Put your foot down. You're the I man. I hate that cat. <laughs> But she paid for him. It was an expensive cat. He was oh, like it's expi- How much was the cat? How much was it? And she and she likes him. I mean, he was like twelve hundred dollars. What? When, what? Before we moved him. Yeah. <laughs> That's a twelve hundred dollar cat. Yeah, dude. I've only known people. I the, the most I've ever heard anybody pay for a cat is twenty fucking bucks at like a, <laughs> at a shelter. What the fuck? Are you tell me you spent twelve hundred bucks on a cat. What kind yeah. of money? Also, first off, I want to say congratulations for being able to find a fucking woman who was a gold. Like you found a a gold a golden nugget to have a woman <laughs> who had who can pay twelve hundred fucking bucks for a, a a cat for a cat with no hair, nonetheless. <laughs> you don't even get the hair. Like, that's impressive. <laughs> that is fucking impressive. Before before we moved here, she was like this close to putting him in a shelter too. No, nah, she was never going to send him in a shelter. You made it very clear. Silence your silly games, Tom. <laughs> no, but hey, say it like you want to say it. <laughs> you like I want to say it? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I I said it. how I said it. I said it like me. Um. <clears throat> no, her whole thing is she's always wanted to find somebody that could, she could trust to give him back when they inevitably, inevitably got tired of him. Am I going to get tired of him? I feel like maybe. I, you know, and this is maybe this is an God. honest response. I feel like I've noticed Tom- he's been he's been a uh, fucking exiled from your room since I said no because you're trying to detach yourself emotionally I feel like you have to. Well, he has to. He, do you blame him? He has to. He's not been exiled. He just can't sleep in the room at night. <clears throat> I thought he was oh, back well, to Tom, in the room. Tom, you, no. gotta let, you gotta let him sleep in the room. He's a cute yeah, little Tom, cat. Yeah, Tom, you gotta let him sleep in the room. Sometimes. Sometimes no. Sometimes daddy needs Basset to sleep. Hound, we bought my Basset Hound Tug because his legs are so short and stumpy and Basset Hound arms are like, it feels like if you, li- if you feel a Basset Hound's arms, they feel broken. Like they're like, the way they're formed are so Maybe fucked. you're holding too tight, Hunter. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> no, I, I feel all snappy we, like. We bought him a wooden ramp and it's like watching a 98 year old man getting to bed every night and I love it it's the highlight of my day is watching my back <laughs> get oh, into up, my bed. up into the bed so that's funny sounds like an abusive breed that's very nice he's like, a good boy he's bred he's bred with leg disabilities also his, like his howl boy. sounds so painful his howl isn't like <laughs> is it cute it's like <laughs> it's adorable man I love it great oh it's amazing it's actually when, when you get when you're around it you're like this is a good man that's what and whenever I, I started like actually looking like you know when you step outside and you look in I was like this is what a good man looks like just like a guy who is harsh he looks like he's in pain all the time it's fantastic <laughs> you gotta love it you're not paying a good picture of this dog his bones are all mushy like Play-Doh, and he screams in pain every day. I just want to say again, I keep looking at Don's Mickey Mouse shirt, and I just want to say, I've only ever seen you in a Disney outfit. Were you the kind of person who would go to the mall Dude, and you'd I'm go into you. the Disney store, <laughs> the Disney shop? I, the thing is, I own two Disney shirts, and then I own a bunch of shirts with holes how, in how, them. How is hoodies. it possible that I've I only seen you in a Disney outfit, and you said you own two? <laughs> Do you only wear two shirts, Dude, it's Don? The same, it's the same shirt. I only no, wear two the shirts Donald Duck this. one? Uh, yeah, that's the other one. So, so you, that's the only two shirts you wear then? I only I only currently have two shirts without like holes and shit in them. Or hoodies. You know? How is it possible? I need new Bob? shirts. How is it possible? He's spending all his money on hairless cats. I'm There's none left for t-shirts. Yeah. Yeah, you keep, you're trying to pay <laughs> off your loan for your fucking cat that you don't even want. <laughs> 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 it's the moral of the story. <laughs> also, right, here's another thing. Here's, here's another thing for the viewers. Are you guys... Actually, I don't know if I want to Are you guys getting the same car? If you guys get the same car, I might actually fucking lose my mind. Please tell me you're getting the I had it car. first. Just saying. 
We are getting the same car. I already oh. got the car many months ago. Yeah. Dude, there are now other you're cool copying, cars. Don. You guys are gonna show up to the same spot, and you guys are gonna look like such fucking, like... Dude, I'm yeah, hyped for it. I don't actually, even care. It's always been the dream. I'm excited. We're gonna get those little trucker radios. What guys, is the silver yeah. car again? Is it a Thunderbird? It's a, what, what, Don's car? It's a yeah, Firebird. Like his old Firebird, car. Or Firebird. It's yeah, not a Thunderbird, yeah. it's a Fire. They don't... They, I guess they haven't really made... Is that Pontiac? Yeah, it's over. They don't make them anymore. Yeah, yeah, well... Yeah, well, yeah, it's a shame because I actually like Pontiac as a brand for cars, like the G6. I even like the Grand Prix, honestly. I like those cars. I, 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 it's, it's sad they, they got rid of them. You know what's a terrible car is the fucking Monte Carlo, the one that's supposed to be like the NASCAR, the, uh, the Chevy NASCAR car, or is it Ford? No, I think it's Chevy. But, yeah, uh, big avid NASCAR watches over here. Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm just saying that that's like <laughs> no one car I like. Playing. I like the Monte Carlo. I said, you know what? I don't like. I don't like. I them. don't They're like the Monte Carlo. It really fucked up Bucky Buckison's year. They're terrible. Terrible car. They Dude, need to put him in. Don, a get a Tesla. Ford. Get a fucking Tesla and be the high class version of the man you want to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you would be a Tesla man. A I can see it. Teslas, I feel like Teslas are just they're great cars. I don't know if you've ever driven in one. They're fantastic. It's a fucking enjoyable ride. It's mm. fan, it's it's amazing. I've gotten driven. I've gotten to drive in a Tesla series like S or whatever like four times. It's been an enjoy. Like it's just the autopilot feature <clears throat> in cities and stuff. So good. It fucking parks itself. It's insane. Like it's it's absurd. Does it like really work proper? Like you you don't have to worry we, about I, it not I, working in, proper. In, in L.A., I was in I, I in L.A. I sat there and we were driving around. He plugged in the address. And then the dude just sat there, and he, we, were, we were talking like this in his car. He was looking at me, and it drove us the entire way. We got to the fucking restaurant we were supposed to go. He It parked itself, and then we got it. I mean, it was just awesome. It was just a fa It's like it's such an enjoyable ride. It's insane. See, I've always been all about that, like, not driving eventually because the car will drive you, but Don's always been against it. And I'm interested. Do you still feel that way? <clears throat> I mean, I enjoy driving, but I, th I think... I enjoy yeah. driving as well, but when it's monotonous city life, mm -hmm. where it's traffic and stuff, yeah. there's no Stop point. Stop and go and stuff. And I and like driving like as well. like fucking shitting yourself. And that's the thing, though, is that it comes suck. with, like, ludicrous mode or whatever. Not that you use that technically, but still at the same point, it's like, the car feels nice to drive. Like, it's a nice driving car. But at the same time, mm. if I'm with somebody else, like a friend or something, and we're just driving through city traffic or something, why I, I'm going to put it on... Dude, the roadhead is going to be insane. Yeah, you can really like fucking arms behind your head. Just it's like, gonna be great, man. I'm, I'm stoked for it. And now is Allison is hyped for it as you are. Actually, yes, I've convinced her. At first, she was like, "She's like, I'm gonna give you such good road head. You have no idea. I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna give I, you what, that good dome, baby." Like, That's I what can't Allison wait sounds to like. drive from that futuristic truck that you got. Yeah. That's <laughs> real fun. But yeah, no, it's uh, it's crazy. And then apparently the like even just powering it up, like being able to charge it overnight while you sleep, like when you park at home, you can get an adapter for an outlet that like lets you charge it for your full tank and shit. There's also various things of like when you have um, like let's say a cross country road trip, because like because if viewers don't know, I will be moving to Texas. I will be moving from Oregon to uh, Austin. Which, whatever, I'm going to dox you guys because I know you guys are paranoid little bitches. And I'm going to say, Austin, they're in Austin, get them. They sat there and they, uh, it, there, there are plenty of little roadmaps ahead, though, that like for charging stations and stuff. It's just, it, it's just convenient. I don't know. It's just cool. If they made a Dodge Challenger electric, I would totally get one. <clears throat> yeah. But at the same time, there, there are inconveniences to it. But like, how often are you going to do a cross country trip? So, like, the reason that, like, it kind of sucks is that it does take some time, I think, to charge the battery, but I think that if you if you at least hit one of those stations, it makes it faster. Like, a fill-up time can be, like, 20 minutes or whatever. That's not bad. You get on your phone, you bad. browse some memes. Yeah. Which is well, not bad, but granted, like, on your charger, I mean, it takes, like, how long? Like, a minute to fill up, and then you're good to go again type deal, so. but You're convincing me. I just don't like the, the shape as much as, like, uh, mm -hmm. I think I mean the Cybertruck specifically looks like an N64 game. I love it, but man. Like, I, I, I think I, I would still drive a Cybertruck to be fair. I, I, I kind of like it, man. For the memes, maybe. Uh, I, yeah, no, I, 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 I think just it's a, like feeling special. Dude, what I love about Tesla, the, the, the Tesla Series S, which was like the, I think it's the hatchback one. I might be saying it wrong, but they had on the doors and the side doors, it, it's a window all the way up the side. So it's like a giant, it's just, it's just a really fucking great car to drive in. 
versus like the, the which also I want to see right now. I have a Toyota Camry. Love it. I love my Toyota Camry. But the 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 driving experience with it versus like a Tesla, it's it, there's no there's no contest. Like it's just so it's so much better. Like the Tesla's thing of driving with it, it's so good. Hmm. Also, I want to else. say I want to say right now the conversation we've had today. I don't know if it's just because I'm drunk, dude. Right. It's highly because you're drunk. <laughs> Great combo today. I hope that we've had a real good yarn today. It's like an eighty percent hunter podcast. <laughs> And you know another thing about the Tesla that you don't know about. Please watch Lab. <laughs> Basically, you're just fucking crumbling. Oh, nice. Our podcast is up right now. First comment that came in. First comment that came in, I want to say it. Jay Neese, he said, stopped what I was doing as soon as the notifi notification came in. Are we to the point in our podcasting career where we're just reading the comments of the old one? Is that where we're at? I just think it's nice. I mean, people probably like to hear that their comment was read, right? The jingle gives me the same sense of anticipation it would give me in real life when I was little. Love that. That's Every cute. time I hear it, I can hear 10-year-old me go, Oh boy, it's Flash Gits and that other guy! <laughs> I also like that comment. You like that comment? Yeah, yeah. I like it so much, I'm gonna like it right now. Alright guys, let's Aladius easy down. Gave it a heart. Good man. <laughs>